a fifth of Russian prisoners recruited to fight in Ukraine are HIV positive, with convicts promised antiviral drugs if they agreed to fight, report. Here's a summary of the article. About a fifth of recruits sent to fight in Ukraine from Russian prisons are HIV positive, according to estimates by Ukrainian authorities, with several captured Russian soldiers telling the New York Times they were promised life-saving antiviral medications if they agreed to fight. One detainee told the Times that he took the offer to fight in Ukraine because the Russian prison system deprived him of supplies of effective medications that he needed to survive. Timur, 37, told the publication that in prison he was put on HIV medications that he feared were ineffective, and that he worried that he wouldn't survive on these treatments for the duration of his sentence. Timur told the newspaper that in December he was offered an alternative, six months with the infamous Wagner Group fighting in Ukraine in exchange for a pardon and the promise of supplies of antivirals. Another HIV-positive soldier who fought with the Wagner Group, identified only as Ruslan, told the Times that he joined the mercenary group in December, one year into an 11-year sentence for drug dealing. Ruslan said he expected to die from an illness in prison as a result of ineffective treatment, so he was ultimately grateful to get an offer to fight in return for medication, according to the Times. The Wagner Group is the main pro-Russian force currently fighting to capture the Ukrainian city of Bakhmut, a battle that U.S. General Mark Milley, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, called a slaughterfest for Russian forces. This post received a score of 35,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. That's not surprising. Sadly HIV, among other viruses, has been raging in Russian prisons for years. Not just prisons. It's raging in Russia in general. Russia dismisses data showing world's fifth highest HIV infection rate. They are big time HIV, AIDS denialists as well. Can't catch what doesn't exist? It's also because they believe HIV is a gay disease and since they're straight they can't catch it. Russia has lots of anal rape in prison and the military. This does not help. I remember seeing a thread where an ex-Russian military guy tried to explain it's not gay but punishment. They bash normal gays but it's treasured tradition to fuck a colleague who messes up at work. A captured Russian occupier talks about it here. He starts talking about the offended around 10 minutes in. There's another interview on the same channel where the occupier is showing the interviewer how to make prison tea and also discusses the offended. It was surprising to me that there's a prostitution black market going on in those prisons while at the same time, the offended are the lowest rung of the ladder. Greater than the offended are the lowest rung of the ladder just like the Wagner leader, he was raped in prison. Putin has almost certainly been on both ends of that power dynamic as well. Ha ha, both ends. Now that's hilarious. And oh so true. So fight or die. Whether bullet or neglect. Probably more likely to be fight and die. Bullet and neglect. Spoilers. They're not getting antiviral drugs. I'm assuming they're the first one sent to the front lines. Cuts down on the cost of antiviral drugs that way. They probably see them as homosexuals or drug addicts. Getting them killed is not a bug. It's a feature. I assume a lot of them were raped in prison and got AIDS that way and are now seen as the lowest of the low. Got HIV. People with AIDS are not being recruited to fight for anybody. AIDS is a late-stage result of a weakened immune system due to living with untreated HIV for several years. So one does not get AIDS, they develop it over time after contracting HIV. It's also not one thing but a variety of different common ailments cold, pneumonia, cancer, etc. that wreak havoc because the immune system is fucked by that stage. Another reason why war rapes can be qualified for genocide. Burn the books. Burn the buildings. Rape the women. That's how you erase a demographic from history books. Also kill the men and kidnap the children which Russia has done its share of. Kill the men. Yes. The children. No. Steal them and re-educate them like the Native American kids in Canada. Edit. Yes. I'm an idiot and I'm not fixing it because it's funny and want to share the joy with everyone. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.